Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, lately, I have been showing a lot of pictures of my plants that are grown in hydroponic, like my Aragorn and the MTN Grow Station. And I get the same question asked over and over. And this question has been asked over the years and I have already answered it as well. But uh, sometimes it's very hard to find in the video. So today we're going to do a separate video just answering this exact question. And the question is, how do I keep my plants so short and uh, compact while allowing the plants to produce uh, a good amount of peppers? And the answer to that is very simple. It is the beauty of hydroponic. Well, not only hydroponic, but I also do a few other things to help the plants stay small. So um, I will show you the entire process with this new plant that I'm starting to grow. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so when you grow plants in hydroponic uh, or the arrow garden systems, they do produce flowers very quickly. And to keep the plant nice and strong and short, what you should do is you should keep the light hood right above the plant this much, like two to three inches above, even at two inches, it should be fine because the hood is very, very uh, soft lights and it doesn't get very hot. So even when the leaf touches the hood, it's not going to burn the plant. So um, when you keep it on top like this, it allows the plant more intensity because 40 watts for pepper plants is not that much. So it does uh, try to stretch if you leave the hood too far up like this. So this is not recommended because what happened is the, the intensity is not strong enough and then the branches are going to reach. Uh, you can tell the plants are reaching when the node between each leaves, like th there's a leaf right here, and then the next leaf is like this, this far apart. When you see that, that means the intensity is not enough. So you need to get a stronger light or lower your, your hood. So here, I just started to, uh, to do the pruning. And then I realized, wow, you know what? I, I should answer people question. And so you see here at the very top of the plant right here, you can see flowers starting to form. So it's a very small piece at the top. It's like that. See, not very big. See that? So it's basically like that. So what I did was I cut right there, not very big, just the last node where uh, the fruit began to form. And usually at that section is where the Y, where they separate into multiple branches. And uh, that is where you should cut the plant. So just snip it right there. And as you can see, the, the plant is now missing the top. And you can also see that there are large leaves here. And these leaves could be very large. And what that does is it will cover, see the bottom branches from getting light. And when it does that, the, the bottom leaves are not going to do anything. It's not going to grow and it becomes dead weight. So what we should do is we should remove those leaves like that. So now this branch here can get the amount of lights that it needs. So you keep doing that. And then what happens is these branches here are going to come out and get bigger and bigger. And the leaves will also get bigger. And so you're going to have to do pruning on that as well so that these, these sections here is not covered because you want lights to get through to those branches so that they can grow nice and strong and uh, full. So uh, I'm going to remove all of this here. You can use your finger and just pinch it or you can use a scissor or anything like that and just take those off. And when you, when you take these leaves off, it actually uh, helped the pepper plant a little bit because the less growth the plant has with these huge leaves, it takes up less nutrients so that your, your, your reservoir can stay for a little bit longer. So <laughs> that is sort of like an advantage as well. So you see, uh, it's pretty small now. So in a few days, these branches are going to grow out. And so make sure you we're going to have to remove those big leaves again so that it doesn't cover the, the, the bottom section. And uh, in hydroponic uh, systems like these, the light is not very strong. As I mentioned, 40 watts light hood is not very strong. And so it's going to block and, it, and um, 
the penetration uh, of, of light is not very strong so it won't go down to the bottom so you're gonna have to help it by trimming it so outside when you're you have the Sun the Sun is very powerful so it get, it shines on all corner of the plant so there there's always enough intensity for the plants to grow but inside you're gonna have to assist it a little bit when the system is uh, you know just barely 40 watts so uh, we're gonna keep this going and I will update you guys and uh, do more trimming and take you along so that you can see the entire process okay it has been 11 days since i did the initial trimming up topping the plant and also removing the large leaves and look how much it has grown back and as you can see how low i have the hood that is the lowest it can go so uh, if yours can go lower you can actually put it a little lower but um, this is uh, what it looks like right now. So today we are going to continue to do a little bit more pruning because some of the large leaves are starting to cover the bottom area. So let me lift the hood a little bit so we can get through and do some more trimming. Okay, here is the top of the plant. And as you can see, it is nice and compact and very full. And because of how compact it is, the leaves on top could grow really big covering the area from the, at the bottom. So we need to help uh, the bottom sections here, these branches, to get a little light to get through so it can grow nicely. So we have to go through and uh, prune some leaves that are covering the bottom part. And you only have to do this until the bottom branches begin to grow uh, taller and taller and it it's no longer being blocked so uh, anytime you see the bottom section being blocked by a large leaf just go ahead and remove that leaf for example you see this large one here it's covering that branch right here you see that so go ahead and take that off see now that that branch right there can see some light so do the same thing with the uh, all the other leaves that are covering and you just make sure that everything get equal amount of light so that it can grow nicely and that should do it so I will do a little bit more off video because I don't want it to, to waste your time just just trimming but you get the idea so uh, there you have it we'll check back soon Okay, just in case you're curious, here is uh, what the plant looks like as of today. You see the trim? I removed a lot of leaves, probably half of the plant. And it may look a little drastic, but uh, it is fine. This is a hydroponic plant. There's always nutrients available. The plant will have lots of food to recover, so there's no worry. So look at all of these leaves. I've removed probably more leaves here than on here so we will check back soon all right guys welcome back it has been exactly 21 days since we did the initial trim and the plant is doing amazing so as you can see it grew all evenly the branches are all even across now and from this day forth i'm not going to do too much trimming the only only thing i would do uh, is occasional plucking of leaves that are covering like for example that one there it's covering the top of this plant I can either move it or I can pluck it off so that it doesn't block any light from getting through to there and this one as well you see here it's kind of big and it's crossing over to the other side so pluck those off and you can see here all of the branches are starting to put out flowers and this flower is going to open very soon so I'm going to get fruits very very quickly after this so all of the branches here you see all of those have flowers all these have flowers and so they're, they're very even across and the plant is not going to grow much more because it is already in its fruiting uh, stage so uh, keep the light hood above the plant like this so that it can remain small uh, the reason it's high right now is because I moved it up so I can show you guys but that is as simple as, as uh, it is uh, that's really um, how you can keep the plant compact and shorter and uh, a little bushier more manageable in systems like this so um, trim it, you know, hydroponic is a great way uh, to test with things because uh, again, the, the nutrients are always available for the plant so they, they're never gonna have to struggle to find it. So trimming is no big deal in here. And because the system is so small, you have to trim to keep it manageable. 
So uh, there you have it guys, in a few weeks I'm going to have fruits for this and every single branch here I'm going to get fruits for those, so I'm going to get a lot of fruits. Okay, welcome back. It has been exactly 30 days since the trimming and now the plant is putting out fruits. Look at this. So every single branch that we have here are going to yield uh, peppers. Uh, they're pretty productive. There's lots and lots of flowers there and uh, so those are going to become fruits. So there will be lots of fruits. And here, look at that. See? Every bunch it's going to be um, peppers coming out of that. So I'm going to get a lot. So uh, trimming is a good process in hydroponic because the food is always available. So the plants doesn't have to go and struggle to find nutrients to keep itself alive or growing well. Uh, it's always being fed. So um, trimming is no problem in hydroponic. I do it pretty often. And uh, it is a good way to keep the plant kind of short and uh, manageable in systems like this so um that is it guys that is exactly how i trim and how i keep my plants really compact and short and uh, easy to manage in hydroponic gardens uh, like these and again let me show you how we put our lights just so in case you want to know there you go that is usually how i keep the light right on top of it so with with doing that it allows the plant to get better intensity because the air garden is not a very strong light hood i think it's 40 watts so um putting it over the plant would be no problem and it actually prefer that because it needs much more intensity than this light can put out so if you uh, put it too high it's gonna stretch and stretch and it's gonna look skinny and tall and uh, it's not gonna look nice so uh, that is uh, how I do it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it below.